study, yeah. what do you study, then say which expectations yeah. uh, did you have for the school, which did, did you meet, <laughs> which not, and uh, what do you think was not excellent, was not so good, and so maybe have some recommendations for further development. Sure, sure. Yeah, my name is Nick Hassan, I'm with the University of Alaska. I study Earth System Science, so uh, very in interdisciplinary in the Department of Geosciences. Uh, this is actually my second time to Action Research Station. Uh, I loved it so much the first time I came back for a second time. Um, I try not to set expectations. Um, I often hear geologists and scientists say those who have been in the field the most and who have seen the most uh, landscapes and, and uh, are, are usually um, the most qualified. And so I try to spend my summers studying in the field rather than in the classroom. Um, I'd say what's most impressive about this field school uh, to me is that you're in this research station that has been active for decades, so you're seeing a legacy of uh, so many people studying different uh, uh, areas of science that are uh, very important. And so when, when we talk about climate change, we're, we're talking about all of these different interdisciplinary approaches. But what people forget is that we're also dealing with uh, people. And to understand climate change, we also have to understand each other. And uh, that's what's most impressive is Dr. Kuputan and uh, Terry Callahan have uh, come together to uh, build a, uh, a, a, an organization that brings together researchers from all over the world. And uh, my experience with uh, at the station has been exactly that in a microcosm. You have people from different backgrounds uh, uh, from all over the world. We, we realized that actually every continent was rep represented uh, at this field school, which is incredible. So if we're going to understand climate change, we also have to build ties and networks and organizations uh, that, that span across the, the world. And that's what Actra Station did for me, is uh, just brought together a lot of people in networking that I hope to uh, utilize in the future. Uh, okay, and were there any problems you wanted to point out? Um, I mean, obviously the language is always difficult, uh, but I've uh, started to embrace uh, the language and try to uh, uh, use more Russian. Uh, but uh, no, I, I, I just am very grateful for all of the infrastructure. I mean, that's what's most impressive is uh, all of the organization. I think many people have the expectation uh, that Russia is very unfriendly or um, can be dangerous, uh, but the opposite has been the case for me. This is my third year to Russia, and uh, obviously <laughs> I keep coming back because I'm, I'm completely uh, uh, just... Uh, gain so much each year. I grow a lot as a, as a person and as a scientist. Uh, so. It's all. Uh, just one question to me also. Yep. Uh, you visited two summer schools. Yes. And, uh, they were different? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, yeah. Uh, maybe you, you told about each. Yeah. So what was nice about last year's field school is that I got to participate uh, not only in lectures and field outings, but actually getting to take part in research, uh, active research on the glacier, measuring the retreat of the glacier, measuring uh, the, success, the ecological succession, how microbes and, and fauna were recolonizing uh, the soils. And so that was really uh, exciting for me to see different approaches to how to do that. Um, uh, that was last year, and we we had a smaller group, but we still had people from Sweden and from China. And uh, this year uh, was I, I went into it knowing that the people would be different. Uh, I would gain more knowledge by just being in, uh, by uh, being uh, with a new group. And so this year was uh, amazing just to hear uh, people from different backgrounds again. So. It's, it's definitely a place you can come back to each year, and um, no, no, I'm not saying no, but I would highly recommend uh, students in, in geology or ecology uh, to, to 
Kong at any level, undergraduate or graduate. Um, so I hope one day to come back with students of my own. So.